lab guy here. The cart revision porta pack is now functional. This is not the first recording, but it's right up there. So let's now take a look at the components of the CartraVision video porta pack, shall we? So after all this time, I've managed to complete the electronic assembly of this unit. I'm very pleased with the way it came out. I've mentioned in the previous videos that it has a battery, it has an electronics board with an 18 volt step up converter to run the CartraVision camera, it has a 60 cycle reference source on board to run the CartraVision camera, it has a stereo microphone preamplifier to raise the level of this microphone high enough to go into the line audio inputs of the video recording module bolted to the top of the unit. I built a really good signal distribution system that gives this thing versatility. We'll talk about that shortly. Um, it has uh, a normal pilot light and off on switch and the usual stuff. And I have a surprise for you, so stay tuned. Uh, we'll get to that shortly. Um, it should tickle the funny bone of those who are familiar with CartraVision hardware. So, in the meantime, let's uh, take a close up look at this unit. You can see the 12 volt, 5 amp hour battery consumes most of the volume in the case. It's held centered by a couple of uh, rigid uh, plastic foam blocks which I hot glued into the case. I built a bracket to hold the battery to keep it from falling out so that these high current wires would not uh, get torn from the connector and shorted and all that. Here is the 18 volt regulator. This is the second generation regulator that I got. The boost converter is what it's called. The first five that I purchased on eBay, five of them for six dollars, uh, all five of them burned up during testing. They just literally burned up. Smoke and fire and everything. I'm sorry I didn't record that. The front circuit over here on this side, which is probably hard to see, is the microphone preamplifier and behind it is the 60 cycle reference. There's the plethora of connectors on this side. There's a charging connector on this side and the pilot light. I'm rather proud of the pilot light. I don't have any rectangular drill bits and this is a nice rectangular blue LED. So what I did was drill a hole that was the right diameter to hold the wide direction of the LED and then I backfilled it with hot glue and used the heat gun to gently cause that hot glue to melt and form a nice domed light and it actually diffuses the LED quite nicely. This is the charging input for the battery. When the switch is in the off position this jack is connected directly to the battery and everything else is disconnected. So the unit cannot be operated from external AC. It always runs on the battery. Or we disconnect the battery and bypass it. On the back side I put in one of my famous six pin RCA jack assemblies and made a whole series of short cables to go to the five connectors on the video recorder on the clear click this little guy seems to work very well. Um, there's the 5 volt USB connection for powering the clear click. Clear click does not have his own battery. This would be a complaint, but it is what it is. <clears throat> this is the S video connector, which is my preferred input to recording devices when recording non standard monochrome. The composite 
video input is the yellow plug. Red is the right audio input. White is the left audio input. These are the signals coming from the microphone preamplifier. Composite video for the moment is simply a dummy plug because I had a triple cable and it, I don't want to leave anything dangling. The uh, 5 volts for the uh, USB is also terminated in an RCA plug. And then the two plugs from the S-Video take up the remaining two jacks. So that worked out perfectly. On this side, we have this funny <coughs> triple jack that receives the funny connector from the microphone. And that was relatively easy to put in and works great. There is an issue with the microphone preamplifier that I don't have the frequency equalized completely, so it sounds a little telephony, but that's okay. What's wrong with that? The camera plugs in here. The 16 gigabyte memory card for recording goes into here. And that comprises the entirety of this unit. In another video, I will do an electronic deep dive, though there's not a lot to it. So, stand by for the surprise. Surprise! For everyone who's been waiting since 1972, allow me to introduce the Cartravision Portapack VCR. That's right, folks. Now, instead of sitting on your living room floor putting a dent in the uh, carpet, you can now sling this sucker over your shoulder and make your chiropractor happy and take it with you wherever you go. The Cartravision Portapack from Lab Guys World. Now tell me that ain't funny, and I'll point at you and go, WRONG! So there it is, what you've all been waiting for with bated breath. I'd like to welcome all the new subscribers. Thank you for signing up. I'm glad that you think that my channel has just a little bit of value that you find interesting. Greetings to all the existing subscribers. You guys rock! I have the best subscribers on YouTube. You can put that in the bank. And in 10,000 years, you'll earn a penny of interest. So, there you go. You're welcome. So, that completes this project, more or less. I'll do some follow-ups on it, no doubt. There's uh, some additional circuitry not worth mentioning at this moment to do with the uh, little uh, pilot light on the camera. But what I've done is taken and wired it so that the off-on switch on the microphone, which didn't do anything, it makes the little red light come on on the camera. You gotta admit, that's pretty cool. Uh, right now I have a simple dropping resistor in the circuit for that. And it, uh, it has a problem that if you push the button on the recorder, it will burn up those resistors. So I have to change the circuit to uh, cope with that. I don't want to burn out the bulb and I don't want to burn out the resistors. So that'll be in an upcoming video. It's a trivial thing. It's cosmetic like the front cover on the recorder. I hope you enjoyed that visual gag. So, thank you for watching my videos as usual. Happy New Year. We're still in January here. We will be returning to the to the uh, Dissector Cam project here very soon. And uh, we'll start that off with some 3D printing, I believe. And we'll pick up where we left off on that project for the NBTV fans who have been uh, chomping at the bit for a little more NBTV. Because who doesn't love a good high definition 32 line black and white picture, right? All right, so until next time. Lab guy out.
Birdie num nums. Birdie num nums. Bark, 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 bark. Birdie num nums.